Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Misty and today I want to share with you a flip through of all about reading level one, which we just completed. Before we jump straight into that flip through, I do want to say I plan to do a lot more flip throughs on this channel. So make sure if you're interested in those flip throughs, you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all those future videos. All right, let's go ahead and get started. In this video, we will be going over the teacher's manual and the student learning activity book. Now keep in mind, I have taken apart the activity book, which looked more similar to this, but this cover, and I put it into a binder. So all of the information is still the same. All the pages are still the same. They are just inside of here and we will still go through those. We will also lightly touch on the books included in this kit. Okay, so first we're going over the teacher's manual. And one of the things you will love about this is that it gives you word for word what to say to your kid while teaching them. So obviously when we open it up here, we come to the table of contents and then it goes over preparing for level one, what you will need. So it talks about your student packets, interactive kit, the books, some of the regular supplies you'll need like scissors and glue, things like that. And an optional item is an additional book that you can purchase on their website for more activities. We skip this, you do not have to get that. The next few pages are really nice too because they basically make sure that you know what you're getting yourself into and making sure your child is ready for it. So this page is what you should know about the program. Also, this page is kind of an assessment where you can just gauge and make sure that you're grabbing the correct level for your child. And it also explains to you every single thing you need to know about. So it tells you about before you begin. There will be sections in this book you need to read before you start your lesson. And this page just explains everything you need to know about how to operate this book. So make sure you read this page before you start. A lot of these pages here that I'm skipping are just a very helpful pages once again to help you understand how to best use this program and to get the most out of it. Now this page is really great before we get into the actual curriculum because this page goes specifically over how much time should I spend reading and I honestly feel like what they're saying is correct. So this curriculum goes by the 20 minute rule which means that no lesson should go over 20 minutes. Wherever you are at 20 minutes, just go ahead and stop for the day. Okay, so here we are in the lesson and this is generally how it goes. Uh, lesson one here is learning the letters M, S, P, and A. And generally what you would do is you get out little cards that come with the kit and I don't have them out right now, but the cards have the, the letters and they have the actual sounds on the back too for the parent in case you for any reason might forget all the sounds that letter can make. So like this letter can say A, 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 A. So we would repeat that for the letter A. And you see here, it says before you begin, you would want to read this little section before you even begin the lesson. So this is a program where you need to like pull it out beforehand or the night before or whatever, and make sure that you're staying up to date with the before you begin. Sometimes this section can be way bigger. It could be like a whole page. So keep in mind, you need to read this before you start. It also gives the helpful tips and it explains word for word what you should say. So right here, it'll literally tell you to say this, like S, the letter S can say two sounds, S as in sun and Z as in has. So literally, you do not have to worry about making up what you're saying or anything. This will tell you what to say. It also lets you know that it comes with an app right here. The app is amazing. If you don't want to do the letter tiles, you can get the app and it will do the sounds for you. The This app, there's two apps that you can buy with this program. And this app right here is free, I believe. I can't remember paying for it. The other app though that you use to actually spell with is $20 and it gives you lifetime access. So once again, like I said, it'll tell you exactly what to say. Um, so right here in quotations, now it's your turn. What does this letter say? And the student will say, hmm. All right, so now that I've generally explained how it works, I'm going to skip ahead to the next lesson and show you kind of how it actually works. So each lesson generally works the same way. Now, the only thing that's different is at the beginning of the book, it's not so book heavy for reading. And towards the end here, you will be reading way more. So in lesson two, here are the letters that you will learn. This section will tell you exactly what you need for that lesson. So today we would need the phon the phonogram cards, 
and word cards and you would need blast off reading pages 11 through 15 to do this lesson. And then you're going to go ahead and preview the sounds of the letters and they give you the letters here. They tell you exactly what to say once again. You can pull out the phone app and work on those sounds if you'd like. And here is the optional booklet to do. Um, like I said, we did not get that. And like I said, here's the before you begin section and look at all of this that you need to read. So keep in mind, sometimes it's a whole page for you to read. It's nothing heavy or complicated. You'll be able to figure it out easily, but just know sometimes the pages are really long that you're gonna have to get to know before you start the lesson. Actually, it continues over here. And then down here we have the phonogram cards, which like I said, they are, there are word cards and phonogram cards. The phonogram cards are the cards with the letters on them. So it will just simply say like A, B, C, D. And the word cards are the sight words they're going to work on. And so it tells you what you'll need for both of those and you pull out exactly what you'll need. And that's considered review. So yes, the word for word, what to say. And then over here, we're using the tiles to start learning how to spell out words and use those basic sounds that we have learned so far within two lessons. So they're starting to learn to read pretty quickly in this. This is my daughter's favorite part actually is using the letter tiles, whether it's um, physically or on the app, she loves this. But basically you would go through this um, sequence of words to get them to understand reading. So we'd start with spelling tap and change tap to tan and then change tan to man, man to ben, or ban, ban to an, and to at, at to bat and bat to set. And they learn pretty quickly how to say those words. It makes it very easy for them to understand those similar sounds and words. And then lastly, it will take you over to the worksheets included in the student workbook. And you would do those pages. And that's how it continues throughout this book. And then, um, of course, here there's no reading just yet because it was the beginning and they, you know, it's not enough to know how to read. But eventually, after you finish your worksheets, the next step would be to read. And it usually takes us two to three days to finish a lesson between the um, sight words and the cards, the phonogram app to like learn to say the words and the worksheets in the reading. So there's usually about four steps and it's simple. It stays pretty much in the same order every single day. All right, so that's how this works. It's all the same as you flip through it beyond that. It just gets more complicated with what words you're learning. Now moving on to the student workbook here. Like I said, it's the exact same pages. I've just put them in these little slides per lesson that we need. So lesson one here is all about the letters M, S, A, and P. And you learn that there's quite a bit of things that you can spell with those words. So on day one, they're only doing this one little worksheet. You would cut out these down here and have them find the picture it, sh it should um, match. So map obviously would go with map. Sam is most likely the male, obviously. Pam most likely the female. And sap is the sap coming from the tree. So the lessons start out simple. Now the wonderful thing about these lessons too is that they do not require a bunch of tedious um, paperwork. Like the paperwork is fun interactive games and so it doesn't require a lot out of them. And then as you get further along here, let me give you uh, an example. This one is quite a few pages. Now, when it comes to these pages right here that you see, these pages are going to be words they need to get to know that will be in the stories they're going to read. So what I do is this is quite a bit for them to do, right? If your kid isn't ready to read for a long time, what I do is I read this to them and make them repeat the words after me. That way they still get to know the words and get familiar with them, but they're not already fatiguing their brain before we even get a chance to read. So this would be a sheet that you would say, we're about to read a story in the book. And these are words you're going to see and get familiar with in the book. We read them together. And then we also talk about the words down here and inside of the teacher's manual, it will explain to you exactly what to say about the items on each page. Then here is another lesson. We're going to cut out these pages and I think it's working on sequence. Yes, it's a kind of a sequence game and a matching game. So right here it'll say Kent held his raft. It was bent. Tish set the raft on the bench. So you would find the photos that correlate with what's being said. And also this comes directly from the books you'll read. So it's kind of like review to make sure that they're comprehending the book. And then lastly is this page here, which is uh, at this point, it looks like there were two stories in this lesson. Lessons can have anywhere from two to three stories each time at the end of the, of the program, you're reading way more. So 
yeah, that's how that works. And each lesson is literally the same like that. So there's going to be words to review, like you can see on this page here, and then the interactive little games on paper. And these are really cool. So you cut these pages out. I just make copies of them because I plan to use this again in the future if it works for Savannah. Um, you cut this out and make a booklet and the booklet will help you learn all these words with the UFF sound with different letters. So all of these letters will go on the front of this and it becomes a little booklet. So it'll be cuff, puff, huff, buff, bluff, scuff, stuff. So yes, it just keeps repeating the same things. We have interactive games to make sure they're comprehending and the little pages to help them get familiar with what phrases, names, and words will be in the books coming up. All right, so that's kind of how the student workbook works. I don't need to show you page by page just because simply they're all the same. It's very repetitive in that way, but it changes it up each time enough to make the kids still love it. Now, lastly, these are the books included in level one. These are all the books you will get through and Vivi was very entertained by these books. Now I have the non-color edition. They have both um, color editions and black and white and going forward we're getting the color editions because Vivi really seemed to enjoy that she noticed that about level two. Okay so just so you get familiar with it there are a ton of short stories in each book and the titles are based off of just one of the random stories in each book and here's the reason I want to show you these. The reason I'm showing you these is because you're going to see just how much they learn to read by the end of this. My daughter is reading phenomenally and she's reading even beyond all this and we haven't even started level two. It's just sitting in our house. But the way it works here is you get these short stories, okay? Each one has quite a bit. There's 20 short stories in this book alone. And it starts with the most simple one, which is learning those very basic letters. And so this story is called Bam. And she loved this one. It's just a story about a raccoon who is very ornery and gets into things. But as you can see, it's very simple. At first, they're just reading like one word. I'll move it closer. First, they're just reading like one word sentences. So this is Pat, tap, tap, tap. And obviously they're using the pictures to understand the short sentences. Tap the map, tap, tap, tap. So with the repetition, they will definitely get to know these sounds a lot better. And so that's how simple the reading starts. So you keep going through and the reading keeps adding up with new sounds and more complicated words. By the, sh by the second book, we're looking at bigger sentences. So this one says, this had Kent test the raft. I'm sorry, I'm reading upside down. So I'm reading choppily. <laughs> Tish had Kent test the raft in the tub. It did not tilt. Could not read it upside down. But by the third book, this is what's so impressive about it. By the third book, we're reading quite a bit. Um, so as you can see here, it gets much more complicated. Like it says, we must get past this bog, said Gus. This stick of gum can help. So yeah, it has quite an impressive amount of words that they'll get to know or sounds and combination of sounds. By the end of this book, you get to know combination sounds a lot of the times. So like she'll learn, she learned what CK is together. She learned about ING and different sounds like that. So it teaches quite a bit here. Like you can see, that's quite a bit of reading for a level one student and they will comprehend all of this by the end of the program. Looking for more about all about reading? check out this video here. I do a live lesson and you can teach along with me. I'll see you over there.